What's up guys, Meredith with Extreme Terrain, and if you can't tell, I am in beautiful Las Vegas at SEMA 2023. I'm gonna head in in a minute and show you all of the cool Jeep builds from Gladiators to Wranglers and much, much more. Make sure that you like and subscribe to keep up with all this cool content, but that's enough for me right now. Let's go ahead and head in. I'm in the Eaton booth checking out this Gladiator. This thing is sick. It's got 37 inch tires with a gloss black weld wheel. I love the way that it pairs with everything on here. Um, you have a very big uh, King Shock, but the cool thing about this is the Magnuson Supercharger right on top. The reason why it's in the Eaton booth is because that thing has Eaton internals and you've got some very cool Project X lighting on the front here and a Weston front bumper. Uh, super winch. Check out these headlights. It's got a camera on it. That's very cool. I'm out front checking out this JL Rubicon and this thing is uh, dripped out in Attica. Um, all of the armor on this thing and some big 40 inch tires also have a KMC, a bead lock and a locking hub here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I love this inner fender liner, leaves a ton of room for this really beefy suspension system. Um, a ton of Attica armor. You can tell that it's used. I love that this is not a Bluetooth drive shaft build. Uh, you can definitely tell that this thing has seen some trails. Um, and I also really like this back end with the Rotapax instead of the spare tire. Super sleek and has a really stubby rear bumper too. Checking out a cool build at the Circo booth. This is a very cool build. Um, I'm a sucker for black and white. Um, this has a ton of Weston parts, the uh, stubby front bumper, some Weston lights. I know not everybody's a fan of the angry grill, but I do like the contrast of the black and white. Um, some 37 inch Maxxis tires and black Rhino wheels. I really like the, uh, the matte gray on that. I think it goes really well with the rest of the build. Um, some tube doors, Weston side steps, and a Circo roof rack up top that looks super clean with that exoskeleton and then that basket, and it bolts right into the hardtop here. I found this Jeep at the Steinjager booth, and I think that this uh, is pretty cool. We have a paint matched front bumper, or at least a painted gloss black front bumper up front uh, with a worn winch and some pretty beefy tires and a nice pro comp wheel. Uh, the gray matches the rest of the gray. If you can see on the wrap here, it's got Steinjager printed in the wrap, uh, which is pretty cool. I really like these uh, half doors. I guess they're not even half doors. They're just kind of a, a barrier situation to give you a little bit of security. Um, but this thing is pretty cool nonetheless. I'm over at Full Throttle Battery and they have a very cool JT uh, over here with a nice bronze uh, race line wheel and a huge uh, Milestar tire. But the reason why I want to show you guys this is race line battery has a ton of lighting on here, lighting, but they also have some very cool stuff on the inside. So they have a fully custom speaker setup on the inside here and you're gonna need a good battery to power all of that and look at these custom seats that is very cool you also have an amp research power step <laughs> over at LTA they have a super cool gladiator that I want to take home um, if we take a look at it uh, you've got a um, RBCD uh, from bumper, stubby from bumper with a warm winch in there. Uh, super beefy Jeep box suspension, 40 inch meats, and a super clean black rhino wheel. Got rock slide engineering step sliders. I really like that the road packs is on uh, the hinges here, and it's on the other side as well. I don't want to miss out on the KC uh, Gravity Pro light bar. I love that, and I really love that it's not the yellow, it's the orange to match with the Mojave going on here. Also have a cap on the back by Ventress and a full rack here. Inner fender liners. And if you can see, this cap is also lined with that orange, which matches the build. And you've got 
some storage over on the side. I really like this build, so I'm gonna bring it home for me. So if you know what's behind me, you know that Steer Smarts has been doing a really good job at teasing this for a while, um, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. They hit the nail on the head with this one. Um, this is called their Freeze. Uh, so it's a 2024 4x E at JL Wrangler. You've got a ton of pink and blue, um, pink fair lead. I love that. Of course, I'm a girl that loves pink, so uh, how could you go wrong? Uh, but this is a really cool setup. Um, Obviously, you have a big uh, cap on the back that has what looks like a camper up top and a full bar at the bottom. Big Mickey Thompson Baja Pro XS tires and Detroit Steel Wheel Company. Those go incredibly well for that uh, nostalgic vibe. I love this build and I want to take it home and start serving ice cream. You think I can? I was walking by this Dynatrack build. Um, as you can see, these tires are, they're just, they're humongous. And it, it pulled the badge right out of my pocket. So I had to stop and talk about it. Um, obviously you've got a Dynatrack axle there at Mickey Thompson Baja Pro XS tires. Um, and I love the, just the blacked out look on this with that pop of yellow. Uh, Warren Winch and super stubby front bumper, which is the go-to here at SEMA 2023. Annie Rock Off-Road Sway Bar, all of the yellow and a super sleek um, rocker. It gets used. I love to see that, not the Bluetooth drive shaft. Um, <laughs> and also have a paint matched rear bumper on there. Look at that beefy Dynatrack system. This thing is really cool. It chose me, I didn't choose it. If you can't tell, I'm starting to lose my voice talking about all of these Jeeps, but I am at the DPI booth and I love this build that they've got going on. This wrap is really cool with the billeted style details and that patriotic uh, kind of homage over on the side. Um, I really like these rock rails with the rock lights built right into them. This has a big uh, Nitto tire and a very cool wheel on it. Uh, from Raceline, again, Scorpion front bumper with a couple pod lights there. This thing is very sick. The fender delete is, is very cool as well. I'm at the Combat Off-Road booth and this thing has got some super cool stuff. I love this little rock rail on the back there. That is perfect. And these are really cool um, kind of retro style taillights. Got some big meats on here with a pretty cool uh, XD 20 inch wheel. I like that color. It goes with the rest of this uh, brown color. You can see all of these aluminum inner fender liners and fenders. Uh, can you believe these, these are aluminum? Um, these are very cool doors. Uh, this part is removable here, which I do like. And then you got some nacho lighting up front and a stubby front bumper. This thing's pretty sick. I'm out front in what basically is Mickey Thompson Alley and there is this super cool LJ. I love seeing the older generations, especially when it's so clean like this. You have a stubby front bumper that is pretty cool paint matched. Um, also a sick suspension setup, super big axle there. Um, and I mean, everything is just polished and looking great. I love the orange on the black, especially when it comes to such a cool build and this custom roll bar here. Um, because it's in the Mickey Thompson booth, uh, there are 43 inch tires on it and a machined wheel. This thing has a ton of poison spider. You can see on the side with the fenders and the rock rails um, and some Baja Designs lighting. I love this thing. Again, having a TJ or an LJ out here is very cool. This thing is sick. You can tell that this is actually used, um, especially by the headlights here. Uh, but this thing has a super stubby front bumper, worn winch and a factor 55 uh, shackle and fair lead. The windshield is on the ground here um, because of that custom sports bar. You can really tell that this thing has been out and about doing its thing. You got 46 inch meats, a machined wheel and a crazy suspension. This thing is awesome. So I'm still in Mickey Thompson Alley, but I wanted to show you guys this JT. This thing is very cool. As you can see, custom wrapped and a chopped fender here with this uh, little light bar for your turn signal. I love the yellow lighting um, on this. 
makes the wrap pop. Um, obviously a set of Mickey Thompson's with a very cool mayhem wheel. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but that is matte black to match everything else, a set of rockers. But um, what I really like about this is in the back. Now this has an extrusion overland um, bed rack on it, but this is completely set up. Also, why do you need NAS? I don't know, maybe it's a secret for a reason, uh, but this is a pretty sick setup. In a sea of JLs and Gladiators, you don't see a uh, Willys pickup every day. This thing is really cool with this patina on it. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a mix of old and new, right? So you have the KC highlights and the Warren Wint on the front, Rough Country projector headlights, um, but this thing is just true to that, that old school look. This thing is awesome. Huge Patagonia tire or Milestar tires, Icon lift with the uh, current Anorak system. Got a ton of uh, recovery stuff since it is Bubba Gear and all that stuff in the back. This thing, this thing is awesome. Another cool build out front. This thing uh, also has a ton of attica on it. Stubby front bumper, Smittybilt winch, uh, some pod lighting. Also has some very cool suspension here with the Annie Rock uh, sway bar. And the Attica inner fender liners complement that Falcon piggyback shock perfectly, making it super accessible. You have some 37 inch X comp mudgering tires and a gold black rhino wheel. I do like the gold. They also like this roof rack. Uh, this has, if you can see, some accent lighting up front and brake lighting out back. So if you need a third brake light, that roof rack has you, uh, has you covered. It's also super sleek out back uh, with the stubby rear bumper. This thing looks good. Checking out this Gladiator out front, this thing has a ton of cool lighting on it. Um, before we get into the lighting, this mid-width front bumper with the boo bar it looks really good. Um, it gives you a ton of protection. Um, but you also have the uh, hood mounted light bar and a 50 inch light bar up on the windshield. And you can see that there's more lights peeking through in that roof rack. Got a 37 inch, very meaty tire and a black rhino wheel. I love the look of that wheel fits perfect into this build. DVA inner fender liners and uh, a Fox shock hiding in there. Vanguard side steps, um, but I do really like this Vanguard chase rack paired with the rough country tonneau cover. That looks super clean in itself. And then you have some flush mounted Oracle uh, paint match taillights. Very cool. I'm over at the Patriot liner booth and this JT is absolutely sick. Uh, I love the bed liner um, in specific. That's really what they're shelling off here. That blue color is really cool, especially with all of these um, painted accents, the gray and the black and the blue really go well together, especially paired with that uh, big old wheel there and a Mickey Thompson uh, 40 inch tire. Also have some rock rails and some rocker guards over on the side. And I love the little details of the Baja lights. If you're confused as to why there's two spare tires here, that's because uh, Quake uh, LED put a Jeep on top of a Jeep. I've never seen it before, but here we are. This is what SEMA is all about. Um, this is by Freak Show Builds. We've got a ton of stuff on this thing. Uh, big deep dish wheels, Hercules tires and a 37, a uh, Aries electric running board, them at uh, very cool steel fenders, but I mean like, what? This is, <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Aries front bumper on the top one and a matching front bumper on the lower one. And I don't know how you're gonna get up there, uh, but they do have a rooftop tent. You're gonna need a slide to get down. But I mean, if you wanna see something different at SEMA, this is the booth to see it at. I'm over at the Crown Automotive booth and this is probably one of the coolest Jeeps that I've seen this far. This is a 1979 Cherokee uh, Golden Eagle. As you can tell, there's a Golden Eagle on top of this Jeep. It has a 6'4 uh, Hemi underneath the hood. All of this on the front was chrome, um, but it's now uh, black and looks super clean. Super clean headlights. Also has a Terraflex suspension, BF Goodrich, all-terrain tires, and KMC wheels. Those are very sleek for this build. I love what they did up top too. Kept it super simple with the roof rack and the light bar and the spare, but everything is super clean. The dash stayed the same, 
um, which I really like, brings the nostalgia um, and obviously some custom seating and stitching. This is a super cool build. I saw something over at truck cover that was pretty cool. I mean, first and foremost, we gotta address the fuel wheels. I do like that black and red, but I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, but this has an exo pack on the back, uh, which is basically a bed cap chase rack type of deal here um, and a hatchback at the same time, which is really cool. It's on hydraulic struts and you can see that it's got uh, some solar panels up there and it extends all the way to the front and sits on top of the hard top here with a basket. You can see that it's got some luggage up there. So I thought that that was pretty cool out of truck cover. I'm over at the She Shed checking out the Jesse Combs build. This thing is awesome, and obviously you can tell that it is used. I mean, she is the queen of the hammers, so it's, I mean, it's a winner for a reason, right? Got a ton of uh, scrapes and bumps and bruises on this thing, but stubby front bumper, worn shackles, and uh, worn winch there. Over on the side, 35-inch BF Goodrich. You've got some Fox suspension, uh, flat very thin fender. What I love about this is this is a custom feel, the half doors and the custom roll bar, and then all of the goodies in the back that you need to, uh, to be the queen of the hammers, right? Very cool. So that is a wrap for SEMA 2023. There is no shortage of Jeeps uh, around this show. Uh, the show is absolutely fantastic. And I talked about everyone that I possibly could, literally considering that SEMA stole my voice. Make sure that you like and subscribe and always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.